these are fixels. 3D print in place, expandable, flexible, solid fabric. They are made up of hexagons with six ball and socket joints on each it, on each side. They can be made out of most materials that can be 3D printed. They require no support. One of the cool things you can do with these is mix and match the different materials. You can see on here, I have one half being these PLA and gold or black and gold PLA and the other being partially carbon fiber or PETG carbon fiber. To do this, it's fairly easy. I'm gonna do it to the other side. I'm just gonna do it over here. You rip along the edge, just along the ball joint. Be a little bit careful with how you do it. all the way to the very end. Then you get two sheets, or kind of a cut right down that line. And let's line it up. So that one should be pulling it off down here. Right along this line. And then, then they reattach. So this is the other color. the joints around the PLA come loose a little bit. PLA tends to not hold as well as the pet G. However, you can still combine them together to kind of combine each of the properties where you can get a little bit more flex and play around the edges, a little bit less in the center, or vice versa. The complexity can really just grow and you can make pretty cool stuff. But again, these are just tiny sheets. What can you do with it? So once you start putting it into larger sizes, you can start wrapping around or wrapping around a table leg and making a very intricate table that kind of bows out and goes up to some up something else. Uh, a game board that you can put on here. So in my CAD video, I'll show you how you put any design on here. So you can do some D&D &D map or any game, essentially. Put that pattern on top of here, cut it up into little pieces, attach them. Then you can have a very organic, natural looking map that can be folded up, mess around with, disconnected, reconnected. You can make different type of games out of this. You can similar to how Catan, you have different tiles that you move around. You can make a game with something like this. You can clip the tiles together in one way, make another way, completely different game. All right, these are five different materials. So on the top left is PLA. It has kind of a louder feel to it. A little looser. Will eventually fall apart if you shake it enough. And then very similar material PLA, glow in the dark. Does hold together quite a bit better. A little less of the play that PLA has, but it glows in the dark and you want to add a few points inside of a big sheet that you want to glow. This would be a good option for that. And then we have straight nylon. Has no play, like it won't 
shake at all. But it does have a decent amount of flex and doesn't want to break very easily unless you rip it apart, essentially. Still will come apart. But this I can see using if you have a spot that just needs a little bit more flex than other spots. It will give you just a little bit more. And then polycarbonate. Um, it's a uh, okay material. It's very similar to the PLA. I don't see too much benefit over the PLA to this one. And then nylon carbon fiber. This stuff is tough. Doesn't want to move on its own, but you can feel it kind of sliding in there when it moves. You really need strength to a certain part. This one will add it. And I don't have any individual samples, but this is the carbon fiber nylon, same with the background here. Or, excuse me, the carbon fiber patchy, which is kind of obviously my favorite one because it's kind of a little damper in the noise it makes, and it just holds together really well. Has that motion you want, or has the flex, yet it doesn't flex enough to where it's just gonna fall apart, especially with these end pieces on. In fact, if you don't have the end pieces on, they will eventually come loose. But I'll have to go pretty good. You can also notice a little bit of the different characters, characteristics and how they expand. Pulling this one apart, it will pull apart. This one will do it a little bit. See a few kind of stick in there. Get a better view of that one. Yeah, see it starting to fall apart a little bit. And the nylon work. It just eh, it does a little bit, but very sticky as it does in some. Like right in here, didn't really want to compress it unless you force it. Very similar to the PLA. And this one where you're fighting it to compress it in. And it kind of wants to spring back a little bit. By adding in the dark in one spot you can add light to a certain area you want to add strength to a certain spot you can add carbon fiber you want to make it a little quieter you do pet g with carbon fiber if you want to make it a little louder you do polycarbonate and each of these were all made with no supports and single material so it has a pretty wide array of 3d printers that these can be made on once you get into something like this or like the black and gold PLA in here. Uh, this one will requ require a multi-material printer where this one, the gold in here, you can pause the print, change the color, so you can still get multi-color on a single material printer. One suggestion I keep getting, uh, apart from making games, is something like uh, cosplay armor. So I like uh, try making the neck guard, not super great at that. It's a couple changes that need to be developed. Uh, are making pieces that handle different types of curve. Because uh, once you make it into a loop and then you want to have it change shape, uh, having it only, you can tell from here, you, it only wants to bend in one direction at a time. Once you bend it here, it wants to bend that way. So you get bend in either this direction or in this direction, but if you try to do both, then it worked super great. So, uh, making pieces that solve that issue would help with the material, or help with development of it. And they just, I don't know what this is, but two circles, that was neat. If you want to make your own, all of these files are free in the links below to on most of the major 3D printing websites. 
Uh, there, it comes with a small size, medium size, and a larger one, as well as two patterns, this kind of flowery geometric design and the black and gold hexagon pattern. And then inside the files on there, as well as on GrabCAD, you can find the CAD file to making this, as well as a template and a walkthrough video on how to make your own pattern on the very top. Uh, so check them out if you're interested, if you wanna kind of experiment with it, try making your own version, remixing it. I think that's awesome. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, if you have any suggestions for kind of different areas to explore with this, then let me know. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.